Even though it's just five square kilometers in size, Andhroth is the largest of the 36 islands which make up the Indian territory of Lakshwadeep. Until now, the archipelago was known for little more than its untouched beauty. But locals say the Indian government's new laws threaten to end every aspect of their way of life. Our own land, which is uh, given to us our, by our parents, and that is now what the administrator is saying, it is the government land, and you have to get a permission from the administrator to build a house. The directives allow the government to take over land if it deems it necessary for what it calls development. Last month, authorities destroyed fishing shacks and boats in an overnight operation. The BJP, Bharatiya Janta Party of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, says it wants to transform the islands into a tourist destination. The airport is going to be expanded, so you will have more tourists, there is more income to the islanders. Every way islanders will be benefited by these administrative actions. Other proposed changes include a preventative detention law, a ban on beef, and allowing alcohol in a territory where 96% of the population is Muslim. The people of Lakshwadeep say they weren't consulted. My children and I don't want any big developments or other things here. We just want to live our lives as we have been. We don't want anything else. Can we get our peaceful life back on the islands? As residents launched a campaign called Save Lakshwadeep Online, people in the Indian state of Kerala have been protesting on their behalf. The territories share a language and historic ties. Kerala State Assembly passed a unanimous resolution accusing the BJP of trying to impose its Hindu nationalist agenda. It's demanding the withdrawal of the laws and the resignation of the territory's administrator.